This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. We think this has got to have Tesla looking over its shoulder. BYD's net profit for the first quarter shot up over 400% compared to a year ago. The Chinese automaker, which already sells the most EVs in China, saw its revenue go up 80%. Specifically, it brought in $17.3 billion in revenue and posted a net profit of $596 million. That is only a 3% profit margin, but its growth rate is also staggering. While Tesla's sales in China were up 26% in the first three months of the year, BYD's were up almost 93% according to Reuters. Sure looks like Tesla needs to refresh its product, and it reportedly has a styling update for the Model Y in a program codenamed Juniper, and one for the Model 3 called Highland. Automotive suppliers that make EV components will see their business boom, while ones that make ICE components will drop. That's according to Deloitte's Automotive Supplier Study. It says revenue from electric drivetrains and batteries and fuel cells is expected to skyrocket 245% between 2022 and 2027 to a combined market size of $200 billion globally. At the same time, revenue from ICE components is expected to drop 44% to $70 billion. But Deloitte does say it will remain a viable market for the foreseeable future. ADAS, interiors, and electronics are also poised for growth. Deloitte says that competition among suppliers will be more intense as automakers shift to more standardized, less complicated vehicle architectures. Due to rising geopolitical uncertainty and government incentives, More suppliers will nearshore their supply chains as well. And it also says we'll see more consolidation because some suppliers will be unable to invest and grow due to industry challenges and rising inflation. Companies like Tesla and Honda used to devote more of their resources to R&D than any other automakers. Not anymore. Today, General Motors spends a higher percentage of its revenue on research and development than any other automaker. Mercedes-Benz and the Volkswagen Group are in second and third, while Honda is now in fifth, while Tesla is in eighth. John has a video that dives into all the details on our YouTube channel if you'd like to check that out. But here's one thing we can tell you that has always been true in the auto industry. While some automakers get more bang for their buck than others, the ones that spend more on R&D usually come out ahead. And it's going to be fascinating to see if that trend continues. At Schaeffler, we pioneer motion. Electrifying mobility. Manufacturing smarter. Reducing CO2 emissions. Making energy production clean. Scheffler pioneers motion to advance how the world moves. New safety and emission rules and regulations for heavy duty trucks have always been behind those for passenger vehicles but California is throwing that notion out of the window. It's going to ban new ICE cars by 2035, and now it says it will do the same with ICE trucks only a year later in 2036. There will be a phase-in period, and there will be a few exceptions. Vehicles like garbage trucks and buses and the utilities will have until 2040 to fully convert their fleets, and drayage trucks that carry goods from ports to warehouses will have until 2042. But public agencies, not including emergency vehicles, will have to purchase 50% zero emission vehicles by the end of next year and fully convert by 2027. The California Air Resources Board also approved a new rule that goes after train emissions. 
By 2030, engines over 23 years old will be banned. Locomotives with an automatic shutoff won't be allowed to idle for more than 30 minutes. And it will enact standards to reduce smog-producing chemicals. More Toyota owners are trading in their vehicles for a used EV in the U.S. than any other brands. According to CarMax, which looked at data between September of last year till the end of February this year, 12% of vehicles traded in for used EVs were Toyotas, the second straight year that it was number one. Ford and BMW were next at 8%, followed by Honda and Chevy at 7%. The Tesla Model 3 is the most popular used EV, and the most common trade-in for it is the Honda Civic, followed by the Toyota Tacoma. The Nissan Leaf is the third most popular EV at CarMax, and the most common trade-in for it is the Toyota Prius. As for types of vehicles, SUVs were the most traded-in vehicles for used EVs at 40%. General Motors is adding another woman to its board of directors. The company is nominating retired Vice Admiral Jan Tai to its board. She worked in the U.S. Navy and the National Security Agency as a cryptologist. GM currently has 13 board members, six of which are women. But Carol Stevenson is leaving the board this year, so the company will still have six if Vice Admiral Tai is elected at the company's shareholder meeting in June. And you know, GM is the only automaker in the world with that many women on its board. We want to know what drives your testing? OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing, Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. You used to see them everywhere. Stretch limos, that is. Long white versions of Lincoln Town Cars, Cadillac DeVille's, and even Hummers were all the rage for bachelorette parties, weddings, proms, birthday parties, you name it. They were the go-to cars for people who wanted to arrive at an event with a conspicuous splash. But that was then. About a decade ago, stretch limos died. But the limo business did not. Today, people want to be a lot more discreet, and the go-to limo is more likely to be a black Mercedes Sprinter van, a black Cadillac Escalade, or even a black Lexus LS sedan. From accidents to fires, EVs can't be handled in the same way that ICE vehicles are in an emergency. That's why UK-based upfitter Pro Speed Motorsport developed a fire truck especially for EVs. It based it off a Toyota Hilux on a custom frame because it's smaller and can fit into tighter spaces. Since EVs are more likely to catch fire in a parking structure or an underground garage. ProSpeed also equipped it with a second rear axle, which increased payload to 6,600 pounds, and then upfitted the rear with a bunch of firefighting equipment. That includes a high pressure cutting wand that can slice right through to the battery and allow a second person with a water hose to pump the pack full of water. It claims it can put out an EV fire in 10 minutes and use less than 200 gallons of water in total. I don't know about you, but I leave a ton of stuff in my car all the time. But what if it wasn't your car at all? Uber just released its annual Lost and Found Index, and the top left behind items are things you'd expect, like phones, wallets, and keys. But there's also some truly unique ones as well. Here's some of our favorites, as described by the customer, and some not safe for work language here. They say, some tater tots, a breast pump, and a white cowboy hat, my grandma's teeth, and a shitty painting of a moose. There's 50 items in all, and there's plenty of other head scratchers in there, plus a number of other lost item trends that we think you might actually enjoy. So we'll provide a link in the description box or transcript 
if you'd like to check that out. That's all we've got for this Monday. We hope to see you again tomorrow. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering, boost your game. And by Scheffler, we pioneer motion.